Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. <coughs> Today I want to share with you a simple budget file that I created, which I think can help you manage your your budget basically. Um, and of course you can build on top of this basic uh, file into something a little bit more um, complicated that suits your exact needs. So let's take a quick look what we got over here. We got the dashboard, which is what you see. Uh, which has some slicers so you can play with the slicers and the information on the charts below will change um, there's the pivots where it's actually all of the pivot tables that feed into the dashboard this is where they exist you have the transactions sheet which is the data where you key in the data and you have a parameter seat sheet which is currently very limited um, basically it translates between a transaction and a type just so the information is just to group the information a little bit so how's this how's this whole thing set up so there's two tables one here in the transaction um, tab you have three input fields ABC and three formula fields D E and F so all you need to do is key in a date right what the transaction is and the amount positive or negative then these three will catch the type the type is based on this sheet the expense looks checks if the amount is positive or negative and gives it an expense or income sign and the ABS or absolute amount is just the absolute amount that's going to be helpful for this chart so the both amounts are showing on, on the same side Otherwise, the chart would be, you know, one one um, one column would go this way, the other the out the, the other way, and you wouldn't be able to compare. <coughs> so very simple. Let me just I just put some dummy data over here. And why it's nice to use this is a table if it's not clear. So it's it's good to use a table for this purpose because it automatically adds the um, the formulas and you can easily update. So let's say I want to add something for the month of May. Okay, let's say, um, I don't know, uh, coffee. And I don't have coffee right now, right? You see it's showing as an A. So I'll, uh, what I just need to do is go over here to coffee and paste it and let's call it food. All right, and then it, and then it will find it. So I can add coffee for, you know, a few a few events. Okay, I like to drink coffee. I guess you too also. A uh, hundred dollars, <laughs> very expensive coffee in June. So this is an example. I can also add for the month of June. Let's say uh, rent. Sorry, rent. See, it's already as house bills. Let's just add some sort of, uh, you know, salary or something, some sort of input. Let's say sold car. Okay, and again, this this one does not have type, so I'm just going to add income over here. And it's good that you make sure that you always have these types because these are going to be. Let's let's say I sold it for twenty five twelve thousand five hundred. It was a good car. So it's good that you use the types because I'm going to use them in the charts. You don't have to. You can build, you know, your dashboard on the transaction itself. I just think it's just too much. So once I update everything, I'm just going to go and click on data, refresh all, and everything will be updated. You can see in the trends. I already see June. So these are very simple tables. Um, you can see them. They're usually, you know, just a couple of fields the sign and the sum the type the sign and the sign here as a uh, you know dividing between expense and income breakdown here's the by date i'm grouping the dates so this is how it looks if you don't do anything and if you want to see it in a year month view you just need to group right click on it group and then you can select whatever you want to. I really recommend you use that because it makes it look a lot, a lot more, you know, nicer. 
So that's very simple pivot tables, but they're all connected with these uh, slicers for the timeline. Um, and we've got uh, 22. Where is that coming from? So now you see June. So June's looking good. Um, but what's nice about the slicers is that you can play with dates or slicers or types or whatever you want. And you can just see um, the result. So here's the balance between expense and income. This, this shows you everything, but you could look at just 2021, for example. And you can see this how this changes. This is the trend. You can select a certain, let's say, show me quarter number one. So that's going to show those three months. This will show you the overall. The second group of charts, I looked on the expense breakdown. So this is where I use the types. And you see if I use the, all of the, the names, it would just be a long, a lot of names and pie chart wouldn't be, you know, best option. You could always use a column or something, but it would just be kind of unreadable. Whereas if you group it into, you know, types of uh, expenses, it makes a lot more sense because you don't care if the food is coffee, drinks, you know, beverages, all you care that it, this was an expense for food. So this gives you the breakdown and it's, and it's sort of ascending because it's negative, but you see the main, um, the main part of your expense was food, then house bills, etc. This is the same aspect where it's a stacked column and you can see every color represents a type of expense. It's just another way of looking at the trend here. So you can see the house bills, how they change within the quarter. Uh, the food was relatively stable. Okay. The last part is the income. The income I already have. I also had two types, salary and income, which is supposed to be, you know, like ad hoc, um, you know, uh, payments or something. Maybe you have more than one. Maybe you have like salary or rent or dividends or YouTube uh, revenue, whatever. So maybe your chart will look differently. And this is the same thing, just showing you um, the difference between um, both of them. Um, so yeah, if I take out again all of the slicers, then you see all the information. Okay, so yeah, so it's pretty simple. You got the transaction. Only you only need six columns. You got the parameters with two. You got you got to set up six pivot tables or how, how and many ever you want to set up and build those charts so it's pretty simple it's a roughly 10 to 15 minute kind of work and you get a nice uh, little budget file working for you so if you like the video please subscribe leave a comment if you want to get this template leave a comment as well and i'll be happy to share it with you take care